my god, she just collapsed in the bathroom. She just collapsed in the bathroom. Both of you have passed out on the floor. Look at poor Charlie. She's in like such bad shape. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Hey, my little picture and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to our Fallout Survival Challenge. This is the challenge where we built ourselves a little nuclear bunker, a little Fallout style vault, and then we've gone ahead and put one of our Sims in there. And the way to beat this challenge is to survive all seven days in there. So what happened is in this Strangerville secret lab, there was was a nuclear incident. Ignore the cars. Pretend nobody else is there, okay? There was a nuclear incident which completely wiped out the whole of Strangerville. However, our bunker survived because of this rock formation here. And we've got a little sim, Charlie, who's been living there this whole time. So if you guys remember, here is our little glass which allows the light to go underneath, hit all these mirrors, and feed our plants that are down there. And the bunker, the vault, is actually four floors down, deep underground. And this is where Charlie has been living this whole time. So the first three days, we kind of just kept growing stuff. We were doing our thing, getting used to living here, working out. We had a robot, but the robot pieced out, did not stick around for very long, which was very frustrating because that was meant to be our friend. However, in day three, we got a little uh, alert on the system, which let us know somebody was outside the bunker. So this is Vault 101, but we've got here Jacob, who you can see is from Vault 81, and he was outside begging to be let in. So we've allowed him in because Charlie, who is our Sim sleeping in her bed here. She is actually a good sim, so she would definitely allow him in there. But what that has meant is that radiation has started to leak in. We let him in, we scanned him, he didn't have like a huge amount of radiation in his body or anything. But once we've let him in, it has caused a radiation leak. This is an old vault, so it's kind of things are starting to fall apart, so it kind of makes sense that the radiation would come in. So the day four rules, if you guys remember, I will bring up the rules as they stand on day four. Day four sees us having to share our supplies with our other survivor. That is, of course, our food supplies. This is the grow room where we grow everything. And right now, there's enough you know, there's enough for one person quite happily, but we're gonna have to start splitting that in two. What we also need to do is share resources like our bed. There's only one. We've got it for now. We've got our shower, our toilet, and our sink. The bed is only a single bed, so we have to kind of take turns on that. But also, the radiation leak has been detected. So they, they know that radiation, or they're gonna learn when they wake up that radiation has started to leak in there. Also, because of that radiation, we have gone ahead and turned on life's tragedies. The only tragedy we've got in this save is the fatal illness one, which is, of course, from radiation poisoning. So what I'm gonna do is we've currently got it set to very slow, but then slow, normal, fast, very fast. So I think by the end of this day, we will set it to slow and then the next day normal, and then we'll start to speed up towards the end. So we're on day four. We have to try and get past the end of day seven. The other kind of annoying thing is that these guys don't really get along with each other. However, you guys said that that is because for some reason, Charlie has an awful reputation, which kind of doesn't really make sense because she's been in a bunker the whole time. Time. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix their reputations just so that we can hopefully see these two start to get on a little bit better because I feel like there's I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest all these mushrooms. Oh, we've got grapes as well. Nice. I feel like there's a few things you need to be able to survive like a nuclear event and also give yourself the best chance against radiation poisoning. That is a healthy body and a healthy mind. So a healthy body is make sure that they are eating lots, drinking lots, working out to keep themselves fit and healthy. But also a healthy mind is just being like making sure you've got good social interaction. Also, Charlie has the paranoid trait, so it's making sure that her paranoia doesn't take over her. I feel like if they get along, we're together stronger. Like, humans are, to better, are better when they're, like, working together as a team. So I would like to see these guys start to work together a little bit better as well. Now, with life's tragedies, if things do start to go wrong, we will see it appear down here if one of them starts to pick up, like, an illness. I kind of feel like Jake has more chance of picking up an illness because he was on the surface for longer. But let's see what kind of twist this mod throws at us. And he is pretty hungry right now. We've got a lot of food. However, in the rules as of tomorrow, the radiation leak will start to it'll start to kill the plants, basically. It makes the soil uninhabitable. So we need to kind of like, we'll enjoy food now, but the harvest will not be as plentiful soon. So I've given them a little bit of a different breakfast. It's been mushrooms and carrots for now, but I'm gonna mix it up and this morning, you can have yourselves green peas and carrots instead. Enjoy. I'm a generous vault overseer, okay? 
okay. And unfortunately, they don't have enough food to like make a recipe, so they can't even cook anything. <laughs> it's just raw veg. It's meant to be good for you, a raw diet, right? I'm not sure if I could do it for too long, but enjoy. And since Jake went ahead and harvested for us, he wasn't great at the gardening, but he's tried to help. I'm gonna see if she can just make a little bit of an effort to be nicer to him because right now they really don't like each other. Okay, this is nice. We've learned that Jake is an art lover. I don't know how you'd become an art lover living in a vault for your entire existence, but we do have a few little bits and bobs on the walls here. So, you know, maybe he'll enjoy this nice periodic table. Oh, and we've learned that Charlie is paranoid. Maybe she started to be like, I'm worried that the radiation's getting in. He's like, you're just being paranoid. But we know she's actually not being paranoid. The other thing as well is because they enjoy working out so much, the more they work out, the hungrier they get. But they need to work out to stay like healthy in their body. So it's like a little bit of a catch 22. Also, I don't know whether male sims get hungry or need to eat more than female sims. Cause that's kind of how things are in real life. Men need more calories. It would be kind of cool if like the sims did that and he now has to eat more calories. He needs to eat more food than she does. Cause not only is she sharing her resources, but she's also sharing resources that would have lasted her longer. Okay, so as of yet, it doesn't look like we're having any tragedies so far. There's no radiation sickness seeping in. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, because it's 12 like noon, I'm gonna go ahead and make the tragedy speed increase from very slow to slow. Oh wow, you guys have made massive, wow. You're back to acquaintances. You still kind of low-key hate each other a little bit, but nowhere near as bad as before. And look, this is, I know she's technically listening with the bug, but I'm gonna say instead, this is how she knows that the radiation is leaked in. Cause look, 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 you can see it on the screen. There's definitely radiation. Like literally take a shot every time I say the word radiation. There is definitely radiation currently in the vault. The levels are low. However, they could definitely increase. We just need to be careful. As of yet, nobody is ill. I don't know if he's so argumentative because like in his previous vault, people weren't very nice. It was kind of a bit of a brutal vault and that's why he escaped. I'm not sure, but yeah, they're really struggling to get along, which is weird because my sims usually always get along, but not so much with these two. Oh, look at the little Zumba collecting all the stuff. Look at the little bubbles coming out of it. Why can't I see it? Let me see my cute Zumba with his little bubbles. Oh, he did a little clean. Oh, you're so cute. Look at your little bubbles that you're leaving behind. I almost want to put trash on the floor now just because the little Roomba is so cute. Oh no, I'm both <laughs> Charlie and the Roomba both just walked in on him trying to pee. Okay, poor babes. <laughs> However, it is 11.59 and 12 midnight, which means we are now in to day five. So with day five, the radiation levels are gonna increase again, which means I will set the tragedy, life's tragedies to normal. I'll do it at six when she's had a chance to sleep. I'll put the radiation levels, the sickness levels to normal. So more radiation in the vault. The other thing that happens during this phase is some of the plants begin to fail. So what I think I'll do is all the plants here that are next to the life support system, because the life support system has uh, the radiation in it. It's been blowing it out of these little vents into like these plants here and here. So as a result, our plants have begun to fail. So in fact, I'm going to be extra mean. I'm going to take these two as well. So we are now down to just literally three here and four there. We've got seven plants to feed both of us for the whole week. The good news is we have absolutely loads of mushrooms in our inventory. So I hope you guys like mushrooms because we got so many of them. The bad news, of course, is that these aren't normal mushrooms. These are radiation mushrooms. You're probably going to get a little bit of radiation from them just by eating them. Sorry about that, gang. The other bad news is, of course, you're just gonna be eating mushrooms for a really long time. And I'm a girl who loves a good mushroom, you know? I do enjoy like little shrooms on my pasta and whatnot. However, do I wanna eat this many? I don't think I do. And with all the working out these guys are doing, they're probably gonna be eating quite a lot of mushrooms. <gasps> She's coming here to check on the plants. She loves a bit of gardening, does Charlie. And already we've noticed straight away, half of them are gone. More than half of them are gone. So we know the radiation is getting worse. Us. However, what can you do? There's really very little you can do. The vault is designed to keep the radiation out, but now it's in here. We're kind of in a bit of a tricky situation. At least we've got some uh, good old radiation mushrooms to eat. Hope you get used to that bland taste because that's all we're probably going to be eating for the next few days. She's like some mushroom. She's all good. However, it takes a lot of like raw veg to keep them full. I'm trying my best as well to keep them on like the same time zone in terms of their sleep so that one of them's not always asleep and one of them's not always awake because that feels like it would be really boring. The good news is before the radiation took the rest of the plants, we do have at least one more harvest. So you'll get a few grapes in amongst the mushrooms. That sounds like a horrible stew, but at least you've got a little bit to keep you going. But there is two full grown adults here. I'm not sure how long this can keep us fed. Oh, 
Discuss local fishing spot. Oh my gosh, when they're choosing to talk to each other now, it's not like ragey charts. They're not going over to just be like, your face is stupid and ugly and I hope it gets radiation. Wait a minute, your face looks like it already has radiation. Like there's no more mean radiation themed jokes, which is nice. I can actually leave them both alone and they won't insult each other's faces. Always good to know. However, look at this. Jacob is feeling like he's missing hanging out with his friends. I guess even if his other vault was a bit more brutal, he probably still had friends and family in it. So he's feeling kind of sad and lonely without them. That might be why he's been a little bit more nice. Opening up a little bit to each other, which is nice because you need that strong mental attitude if you want to survive this. However, as wholesome as you guys are being for once, I feel genuinely bad doing this. But I'm going to go ahead and set the occurrence speed from slow to normal. So just like the plants, we could see the beginning of sickness setting for these guys today too from our radiation. They're still so awkward around each other though. I genuinely think think she's kind of a little bit of a weird awkward person just because like at the moment Lexi is kind of weird on walks like she barks at other dogs a lot or like people it's because we're trying to socialize a puppy during a pandemic it's not easy you can't go to puppy classes you can't introduce them to other dogs and other people because you kind of got to keep to yourselves so as a result Lexi is a little bit behind where she should be in terms of socialization and Charlie is the same she's had like a whole life of not being socialized of living in a vault all on her own so she's obviously going to be a little bit weird. So yeah, I think we're kind of feeling the results of that. So Jake's little repair skills are coming into good use because this is an old vault. I mean, look look how shabby this place is. Like, what even is the store? So it's good to have someone that's around repairing, keeping things looking in tip-top shape. However, the water that they get to drink from here will now have radiation in it. But hey, at least the tap won't squeak while you drink your rad's water. So enjoy that one. I feel like in Fallout, I spent a lot of my early game drinking out of toilets. So um, yeah, this is definitely an upgrade from that at least. Ooh, I've realized will also be bathing in radiation water. Yum, that's so, I mean, what is going on with her legs there? She looks like she's got like radiation growing on her legs. Her legs looked really weird then when she was in the bath. And I feel so sad for them like eating their little radiation mushrooms surrounded by radiation mushrooms. I don't know if mushrooms grow better in radiation, but yeah, we sure got a lot of them. And look how good he is at this. He's like, okay, you were going full pelt a minute ago. There you go. Look at you just throwing yourself around. He's good at repairing and he's good at fighting. Wow. Okay, it's actually really satisfying to watch people when they're good at this. Remember Seth? Remember how bad he was at it? <laughs> okay, so it's 1 a.m. in the morning on Friday, which means we are on to day six. So in day six of our fallout radiation challenge, the radiation levels are going to continue to rise. Also at this point, the grow room can no longer sustain life. They have just had another mushroom harvest. However, rules are rules. I have to go ahead and remove all of the remaining plants. Also, I guess all the plants on the wall would die as well. So I have to remove everything green and happy and nice, which you know how much hurts me because I love a good plant in The Sims. Our grow room can't sustain life. Everything in there, has died. So no more getting any more like veggies and fruits. What I will also do is fall out. No one's been sick yet. They've been very, very lucky so far because usually when I use this mod, people will be dying a lot very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and switch the tragedy occurrence speed to fast. So now, honestly, I can't imagine one of them not getting sick, but I don't know who it's actually going to be. But there we go. We've set it to fast. Nobody's sick yet. Nobody has shown any signs of sickness yet. But like, despite the fact that, you know, the radiation is, is uh, seeping in and we've got the tragedy set to high. We just kind of vibe and like some happy little pop music, having a little read. Things are calm down here right now. I guess if you know there's nothing you can do, then worrying about it ain't gonna help, is it? You might as well just vibe out and then try and enjoy the time you've got. Oh, have a little dance if you are Charlie. I like her attitude. She's having a little boogie instead. What, you can tell she's been working out. Look at her butt. Look at that butt. And it's so weird here because I never have a sense of whether it's day or night. So it's daytime, but like, because they're under that, all of it like bleeds into one. When it got to 12, then I was like, is it midnight or is it midday? I can't tell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> I thought he was sick then, but he's actually just love lawn. Jacob is a romantic sim and romantic sims need to show love and have it shown to them. Okay, I don't really think there's much time for love during a nuclear apocalypse. That's just my personal kind of viewpoint, but you are both just having a little boogie to yourselves here. Nobody's sick yet. No sicknesses. I don't know how they're getting this lucky because I've had this set to normal before and everybody has got really sick really quickly. So I think it 
must be their healthy bodies. They're just not getting sick, which is great for them, honestly. Oh my gosh, autonomous hugging. I feel like these two have literally been the biggest plot development of this whole episode. She does still occasionally like to just like leave the conversation and talk to her best friend in the toilet instead, but they're getting to a much better place now. They at least consider each other friends, which is awful cute. Oh look, he's like, no, talk to me, not the toilet. Talk to me, not the toilet, okay? Look at him, just be like, give me, give me attention instead. I'm a real life human being. Look how cute they look in their little matching outfits. Kind of love it. Oh, and I feel so bad. They've actually become good friends. However, in half an hour's time, I'm gonna have to change their sickness speed to very fast. Honestly, I don't feel that bad doing it because they're so lucky. So lucky not to have had anything yet. You guys are getting hungry though, so I think we're gonna have to feast on some more delicious mushrooms. I can't believe they've not been sick yet. Like literally the fact that they haven't been sick yet is just kind of ridiculous to me. I look at them with their little matching mushrooms. Matching mushroom and eating time. But all very strange, it has to be said. But yeah, it is now day seven of my survival challenge. So... Today, the radiation levels are at a critical level. I feel so like, look, they've been so sweet and nice, actually nice to each other for the first ever time since they've been down here. And I have to go ahead and potentially ruin the whole thing because I have to set the tragedy occurrence speed now to very fast because the radiation levels are now bad. Also, there is going to be an emergency alert broadcast today. So that is when we'll hear from outsiders above the vault for the first ever time. So as of yet, they're still both not sick. This is just so weird. I definitely thought they would be sick by now. I don't understand it. But honestly, for winning this challenge, it's pretty good. You want to become flirty? Oh no. Talking John is broken. I bet he secretly doesn't want to repair because then at least she won't be able to talk to it anymore. However, we're gonna go ahead and repair it because that is what he does. Also, I feel like at this point, the radiation will have messed with their vault cooling system. So not only is it gonna get a lot warmer in here, but I just feel like the air will get like not as well recycled. It's gonna be a bit stuffy. Everything is gonna end up being a little bit gross. I feel so bad at making them eat this many mushrooms. I feel like at this point, I would just take the radiation instead of the 5,000th mushroom. And still, we've got absolutely no sickness. Just like, what? Oh, it's set to very fast. It should be so strong that it's literally coming out of the screen and making me sick. That's what should be happening right now. I don't understand how neither of you guys are sick. You've also woken up really flirty and you want to kiss someone. Great. And literally he's like following her around like a little lovesick puppy today. Like with these little blushy cheeks. Is he actually going for a flirt or is it just a joke? It's just a joke. Oh my gosh, she just collapsed in the bathroom. She just collapsed in the bathroom. Onto the talking Tom. Miserable. Pass out. Not feeling well. Charlie is not feeling well. She could have gotten a disease. How have you got nothing? But Charlie, who only came out the vault for like two seconds to let you in, has just collapsed at the side of the toilet? Okay, this is not good. Oh, he's come running in. Our main girl, Charlie, I think may potentially have radiation sickness. We're not even at midday yet. And yeah, okay, she is not in a good state. She's definitely not in a good state. He's got nothing. He has literally got nothing wrong with him. She is miserable though. Oh gosh. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? She's complaining about the heat. She's now noticing how hot it is in here. And she's sharing her conspiracy theories. She's like, the radiation's got to me. I just passed out. It's so warm in here. Like, Jacob, we're gonna die. Okay, I think we should come out the bathroom and just like come in here and maybe eat. We've got loads of mushrooms in here. She's yelling at him. She wanted to accuse him of spying on her a minute ago as well. I think she's starting to get really scared. However, she can't feel anything except from misery because she's feeling so bad. She's so sick. I can't believe our heroine has got it. Oh man, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna get her to like get some water and- Oh my gosh. What? No! We can't be having armed robbers. They're not part of- You can't have an armed robber come into a vault, okay? You just can't. However, you're the t Oh no. I was about to say you're the tough one. You can stop him. But he's just collapsed as well. Into the kitchen counter, he has just collapsed. Who is this dude? Look, she's like sipping her water being like, wow. I never turned on burglars. Okay, so this makes zero sense. Literally zero sense right now. Look, armed robbers isn't enabled. So how did he get here? I do not know. Maybe it's just because it's set to very fast. But somebody is 
come into the vault from the outside, who is technically an armed robber with a very cool mustache. However, no, 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 no. I'm gonna need you to fight him away once you've recovered enough. Because you're the one with the high fitness skill. Okay, at this point, the radiation must just be absolutely crazy. Because we've just allowed robber in somehow. The doors have failed. Everything's kind of gone a little bit mental, hasn't it? And I'm just hoping that Jacob can fight this guy off. Please, please, please. Okay, no. He beat he beat him. He definitely beat him and he's got a gun. Um, So, no, not great. Oh, he's off. He's off again. He's, he's leaving us. Why did you just come in and do that? You're trapped on the stairwell now. I don't know how you're going to get out. I don't know why you're here. And oh, no. Look at his face now. <laughs> look. Look at his poor little face. Okay, I'm gonna get them to try and like sleep off a little bit and see if they wake up any better or any worse. And while Charlie is sleeping, it is Jacob that hears an emergency alert, bro alert broadcast. So there are survivors on the ground. They know that the vaults are slowly starting to become uninhabitable. They also have a message, which is if you can survive until midnight the following day, they're gonna come and save you guys and get you out of there. So we have to try and survive until the end of Sunday, which could be difficult considering they're both looking pretty tragic right now. <gasps> and oh my gosh, she's passed out again. I went to find him because I, I, I sent him to the toilet and he was just passed out on the floor. Oh guys, this is not good. I'm gonna get him to just bathe loads and see if it can like take a mud bath. Try and get the radiation out your body. Try and survive. Okay guys, we're into Sunday, which is the day after day seven. And the only task for today is to survive. The vault will become uninhabitable at midnight. So if we can survive, survive until extraction at midnight, then we will have completed the challenge. However, Jake's not feeling well. We'll find out more in eight hours. Yours is seven hours, so we'll find out even sooner for you. Oh, and she wants to stargaze with Jacob. If you both survive this, I'll let you stargaze, okay? <gasps> and oh my gosh, he just passed out again, but now he's passed out of s okay sleepiness. Eh, hey, you just did all that. Is it because you're sick? Everything seems to be going down really quickly. This is really worrying. Eat some radiation, rads mushrooms, eat some of them. And look, 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 see what I mean about Charlie in the bath? Look, you see that? It's actually the poison ivy thing, isn't it? But it makes it look like her body's starting to like rot away. <laughs> kind of scary. <gasps> 16 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. We're going to find out more in 15 minutes. Please don't just die in 15 minutes time when you are this close to being extracted. Please, please, please just don't let that happen. He looks absolutely terrible, by the way. He looks so rough. Like, literally look at that. Wow. Okay, what is it gonna be? Three, two... We've got, like, even, like, sad music on and everything. <gasps> Charlie has a deadly disease. Oh, no. You can send her to have surgery at the hospital? No, we can't, because we can't do that. There is no hospitals. Oh, my gosh, no. Okay, she's really, really sad about that. The thing is, there is, like, this machine here, but I don't think that's gonna be enough to treat radiation poisoning. Not, like, this level. And he has passed out in here. We'll find out what's happened to him. He's still got four hours left. He's somehow like resisting it a lot better than our Charlie is. Oh my gosh, she's literally dying. She is dying. She has... Oh, this is her remaining life. Oh my gosh, would she get to midnight from that? It's going down so fast. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. How can I stop it going down? Is there anything I can do? She just wanted to go out and look at the stars. She's never seen them before. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's going down really, really quickly. In your remaining time, do you want to clean a bath? What is wrong with you? Oh, she's compulsively cleaning the bath. Okay, that's a bit different. I'm gonna keep her, like, well-fed, just in case it gives her more time. I'm just gonna try and keep her needs up the best I can. Oh my gosh. Oh no, guys, she's so sad. Oh, just when she'd made her first real friend as well. This is so trudge. Jake's not only still fine, though, but his has gone up to 16 hours. How? How is he doing so much better? Look at poor Charlie. She's in, like, such bad shape. And he actually looks better than when he went to sleep. Although he does look really worried about her. <gasps> Jacob has just witnessed a sim with a fatal illness. Such a tragedy will leave him in a dark place for a while. He's feeling like sad and mournful about her. <gasps> oh, he's crying. He's having a little cry about the whole thing. How are you okay? I don't understand how you're okay. Oh my gosh, it got to 12 and I'm like, we've done it. But then I realized it was actually 12 midday and not 12 midnight. So we've got longer to go yet. And how long has she got left? Okay, I think we could be okay. We might have 12 hours in us. We might just have 12 hours. And his time's going up and up and up. He's totally fine. He's just like literally not succumbing to it at all. He might as well because he's that sad.
sad about it for her. Oh my gosh. I don't know if she'll make it to midnight or not. So I think at like 10, irregardless at 10, I'm going to send them both up in their radiation suits. Um, we're going to try and see the stars because she really wanted to just stargaze. Oh my gosh, he's just passed out again. Both of you have passed out on the floor. Did you just pass out with us so she didn't feel so lonely about passing out? I have no idea. She's down for a while though. Oh gosh. She's got about 30% left. He's back up to 18 hours, though. I think he's gonna be okay. I don't think she is. Oh my gosh, it's going down really fast. It's going down really fast. Oh no. Jeez. This got real dark real fast. Okay. Will we get to midnight? I do not know. Why don't you guys both put on your little suits, please? Have yourselves a little hazmat hug. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if that would actually even be possible. Okay, well, we're trying to take a mind off things. I see. She laughed at it, so it's okay. And let's go ahead and ascend all oh she just collapsed again no guys how long have you got <gasps> We've still got four hours. Four hours. I don't think there's four hours in that bar. But I'm gonna get her to stargaze, okay? Is this- are the stars out yet? Oh, the stars aren't even out yet. Nothing's going right for this girl. Okay, let's head all the way upstairs, please. Jacob's just gonna be left alone with the mushrooms. It's just gonna be him and the mushrooms. Why is there not even a star in the sky? How can you do this to her? This is so cruel. It's probably gonna take you till 10 just to get to the top of the stairs. Because, I mean, she can't walk very quickly anymore. Oh my gosh, the bar's going down so fast. Okay, we're both here. We're both going out for like the first time since we let him in. And we're gonna ask if he wants to stargaze. You'll only just be able to see them through your little suits if I'm being honest. Oh my gosh, she's basically barely got any life remaining. Oh no! Oh no! You were just stargazing! You just got out the vault? You just saw your first stars? Where where's she gone? Where did she go? Oh! <gasps> You just killed her like that? Are you kidding me? Oh, if she'd have survived for one hour and 20 longer, I would have let her auto-solve it. I would have let her auto-solve it because they would have come to extract her. Oh my gosh, that's her little radiation suit. One minute she was looking at the stars for the first ever time in her life. And there actually are stars in the sky as well. And then the next minute, she was gone. She spent her whole life in a vault. Got two minutes to look at stars. Two minutes? And that is it. It didn't even bring Grim for him to beg or anything. Like, that was it. That was so cruel. Like, Sims, that was one of the cruelest things I think you've ever done since killing Abel on holiday. Like, what is with you, game? Okay, if he can survive for 40 minutes, which I don't see why he wouldn't be able to, then Jacob has survived the challenge. Oh my gosh. Look how sad he is. He actually wanted to kiss someone. If they'd have got to midnight, I was gonna let them kiss. Not even like as a full, oh my gosh, I've loved you, la 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 As in, neither of them have ever experienced a kiss, so they just wanted to experience one. Especially since they literally hated each other when they first joined, but somehow ended up getting on. Oh, I feel so sad. She was like my starter and she didn't survive it. I 100% thought Jake was gonna die and Charlie was gonna see it through to the end. But nope, Jake is the only survivor. Um, and if he can survive for five minutes, which I think he will, he will be ready to be saved from this uninhabitable vault. So you will now be, as they said, extracted. But what's that? That doesn't look even vaguely human. Jake has been yeeted off. Extracted from the vault, but in not quite the way he expected to be. So that is how my challenge ended. I can't believe that. I can't believe Charlie didn't make it. I can't believe that she needed like, what was it? An hour and 40 more. And she just ran out of time, unfortunately. But Jake is now extracted by aliens. It kind of makes me want to do an alien challenge next. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you thought this was the way the challenge was going to end. I'm actually so sad that Charlie didn't make it but at least she got to see the stars just one time before the radiation took a hold of her if you guys enjoyed this challenge please give this video a big cheeky thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue it with an alien challenge with jake and we'll probably add in another similar rooney as well and i will see you guys in another episode thank you so much for watching bye